it's Kara here, and I think I've been spending a little too much time with Mark Lobliner because I am here today to show you a recipe on how to make some bro cakes. Okay, so these are the ultimate high protein pancake bro cake for you. Very easy to do, staple ingredients, and you can tweak them for whatever you like, whatever flavor you like. Um, today what I'm going to use for them, here are your basic ingredients. You're going to want to use some type of protein powder. I am going to use the MTS peanut butter fluff. Um, this is a perfect flavor, I think, for a pancake. I've also used the chocolate for them as well. So you're going to want to use some type of protein powder. Um, some type of egg whites here. I'm going to use the liquid egg whites today. You're going to want a little bit of milk. I'm going to use a little bit of the almond milk. I'm going to use some coconut flour. This is not necessary. You don't have to use it if you guys don't have it laying around. What I will tell you is nice about the coconut flour is it does add that fluffiness factor to the pancake, to the bro cake. So you want your, your bro cakes a little bit fluffy, right? So that kind of helps fluff them up. So I would recommend that. Um, we're going to use some oat flour today. If you don't have oat flour on hand, you can use oats or you could grind it up yourself. Um, almond flour, whatever, whole wheat flour, whatever you guys have works. Some type of sweetener. Today we're going to use a little Splenda, sweeten it up. And that's pretty much everything. So the first thing I'm going to do is, I like to heat up my pan first. So when I put the pancake on, it's nice and hot. So I'm going to spray my pan. I'm going to get this turned on here. Propane, watch yourself. Okay. Spray my pan and get that all heated up. So that's good. Good to go. I'm going to measure what I'm putting in here, so I'm just going to put my bowl right on my scale. First thing I'm going to do is add one full scoop of my MTS peanut butter protein fluff here. You can buy this at tigerfitness.com. Use my link. It'll be there for you guys. One full scoop of that. Do all the dry stuff first for sweetener. This really depends on your personal preference for how much you like, and I'm not weighing this out. I'm just gonna do about a tablespoon of this. Bro cakes are really hard to screw up, you guys. Your measurements don't have to be an exact science. You can really modify this recipe that I'm giving you based on whatever your needs are for the day. I am gonna weigh this and I'm gonna add 30 grams of my oat flour. Okay, 30 grams of oat flour in there. And not too much, but I am gonna add 10 grams, actually 14 grams. I'm gonna add two tablespoons of my coconut flour. Okay, I'm gonna weigh this. There we go, perfect. Next thing you're gonna wanna do is add your egg whites. And I'm using one third cup. I'm just gonna dish out one third cup, which is equal to two large egg whites. I can get this off here. Okay. Egg whites in, and then for milk, you can pretty much add what you need. Again, if you don't have any milk laying around and you wanna use water, that's fine. They'll turn out good. Um, but I am gonna add just a little bit of almond milk to this, probably two, two to three tablespoons. And you can kind of adapt this if your batter is not thick enough, or it really depends how thick you like it. Right. So you can see I've got all my ingredients in there. And I'm just gonna start whisking that around. Enough with this recipe basically for one person but if you you know like like I said before you can adapt this recipe based on what your needs are you know if you haven't if you haven't eaten much or maybe you're just getting done a workout and you want more you need more carbs you can double this recipe I will have the exact nutritionals for you below but this is this is pretty much a perfect portion size for me and what you can do, depending on how you like it, I'm a, 
whipping it everywhere. I'm a quantity person, so I like to make a smaller pancake and cook them smaller so I get two to three. Or if you want, you could just dump this whole thing in there and have like one jumbo pancake. But I prefer to do them a little bit smaller. So I'm gonna make sure I get all my good stuff off there. I brought a spoon over here. I didn't, but that's okay. I'm just gonna use my measuring cup or I'm gonna take the spoon. <laughs> so what you're gonna do is just get everything open. Like I said, I'm not gonna pour the whole thing on there. I'm just gonna kind of do a smaller, couple smaller one, two smaller ones here. So that's about half my half my batter to make a little mini pancake. What you're gonna wanna do is just kind of wait probably about two minutes before you flip it. You wanna let the bottom side of this cook before you flip it over. So I'm gonna, you know, kinda wait and we'll flip it and then cook, cook off the rest of the pancakes. So usually I just kinda try to see if the pancake will easily, yep. See how it kinda easily comes onto my flipper like that? That's when you know it's, I just kinda shake it, shake it underneath and do, it, do a little flip. All right, so your bro cakes are all done now. I ended up making two. I didn't do a very good job at making them evenly sized, but that's okay. It's not the size that counts, everyone. Um, so you can see they're, you can't see how they smell, but they smell delicious. I'm gonna pick it up with my hand. You can see they kind of stay nice and fluffy. That coconut flour adds a nice fluffiness to it. It makes them nice and dense, and I like a denser pancake. Um, sky's the limit with these guys. You can dress them however you like. I mean, I could go on and on with ideas of how to top these guys. You could do peanut butter. You could use yogurt to do like a protein frosting on top. Um, my husband wants to add some chocolate chips to everything he eats, so that's an option depending on your macros. Sugar-free syrup, spray butter is always a good combo. Some cinnamon, some sweetener, whatever you like, sky's the limit. So here are your very simple, delicious bro cakes. You will not be disappointed. Please give these a try, you guys. Like this video, share it with others, and keep checking back.